Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today I got an awesome video for you. I recently bought an awesome coin collection. So I'm going to share with you guys, you know, everything that I bought here and, you know, kind of what I paid, what I think I'm going to get out of it. I'm going to post some of this stuff on couchcollectibles.com. Uh, we do have silver eagles, all kinds of paper money, and all kinds of other stuff as well. So let's just hop right in. All right, guys. So in my collectible room, of course, you guys know, uh, collect a bunch of wrestlers. Everything from, you know, the early 90s uh, on up. Baseball cards, Pokemon cards, memorabilia, autographs, all that good stuff. By the way, if my buddy sees this video, he's supposed to come to my house. I got to get him to sign it. Dennis, come sign your Natural Born Pranksters movie cover, man. Yeah, come sign it, dude, when you come see the house. All right, back to the coin collection. All right, so let's just start with these. These are silver coins, you know, they're like uh, uh, different examples from the United States Mint. So they're like commemorative coin program, Dolly Madison. So, uh, you know, these aren't as valuable as the silver eagles, but they're still awesome silver coins. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep these for my collection or not. I do like silver just to have silver in general, but I'm not super attached to coins like these. Uh, you know, every collector is different, right? So some people... Uh, like, you know, s stacking silver, 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 and gold, gold, gold. Um, I love these silver coins. I might keep a couple of them, but for the most part, I'm more into filling up my books. These books came with the collection, by the way. These are not mine. Well, I guess they are now, but uh, I'm more of a collector that likes just getting all the dates and then stacking up a little silver here and there and gold. Uh, but we also got these awesome silver eagles so these are uh, going to be a little bit more much more than these over double the price at least uh, maybe triple in some cases uh, so this is a 1987 uh, whoa fell out 1987 silver uh, proof uh, so that is nice so we got 86 87 88 89 and 90 and then we got uh, from 2000 let's see I think 2001 or 2000 yeah 2001 up to like 2008 uh, so we'll probably put those on the store I might keep one just to have one but again I'm not super attached uh, to these coins so yeah I'll probably get rid of them same with the paper money I'll keep uh, some paper money that I don't have probably sell the uh, rest of it um, but let's see like this $50 bill like this is cool uh, 1934 I might hang on to that one I don't know uh, we'll see what I have in my collection 1928 but yeah couchcollectibles.com will be where all this stuff goes on it's probably going to be uh, a week before I get everything on there. By the way, look at these. All these are silver nickels, silver wartime nickels. Uh, they were all thrown in a bag. You got buffalo nickels. I got these rolls of coins that I haven't even looked in. You go into the end of these, all buffalo nickels, uh, wheat pennies, wheat pennies. Uh, you got uh, silver proof sets. So for an example, let's pull this 1999 out. We got the silver 19. 99 proof sets so you got the silver quarters uh, really nice uh, love this type of stuff uh, we do have a ton of mint sets as well we'll show you so uh, mint sets well this is a proof set here 1986 well here let's go to one that's already open so 1986 proof set there I like it I like it uh, we also have all the dates. So for the silver proof sets, we got 1999 to 2010. Like this one is really good, 2009. You got a lot of stuff in that one. You got the presidential dollars, I believe. Uh, let's see. So we'll have the silver quarters. Uh, you'll have the half dollars, Sacagawea dollar. I'll go through these and make sure there's no errors or anything. We got the uh, uh, proof. Uh, presidential dollars. We got the 2009 proof uh, Lincoln cents. That's a really nice as well. Always look for uh, you know errors on your proof sets. So we'll go through all that and double check those uh, for errors. Uh, we'll probably I haven't decided if I want to start collecting uh, mint sets and proof sets now that I have this many, or if I just want to stick to my books. Um, probably going to stick to my books. Uh, we do have a lot of proof sets from the 70s, 80s, to 90s. Uh, so there's those. You'll see the Eisenhower dollar being those. Um, these ones aren't as expensive. I'll probably just list them on the website for anyone that needs uh, 
you know, a 1978 or 79 or 80. I literally have 19, uh, let's see what dates I have for those. Literally have 1968, so we're starting off with 40% silver halves and those all the way up to 1992 for the mint sets. 62, 63, and 64 proof sets. Now those are nice as well. Not sure if I'm gonna keep those. Uh, you're gonna have in the 62 and 63, of course you're gonna have the Franklin half dollar in those. Uh, those are just really nice. Uh, stuff like this I'll probably sell or uh, you know like this, like a giveaway on the channel. We'll probably give away this as well. Mercury dime, silver, silver nickel, and a wartime steel cent, steel penny. So we'll probably do a giveaway with that. Uh, this is a proof set, silver proof set as well. So we'll have uh, the dollar coin, the Eisenhower dollar, the half dollar, and the silver quarter. And then we got these wheat pennies just sitting here in a Altoids can. We got a bag of uh, 1943 steel cents. All these being wheat pennies and steel cents, and I think uh, even Indian head cents. Uh, we got the Morgan dollar, uh, peace dollar. This coin, I'm not sure. It doesn't feel genuine. I'm gonna have to look it up just because I'm not. You know, super, super familiar with ancient coins, Roman coins, Greek coins, whatever. Uh, so we got shield nickel, three cent piece, uh, barber quarter, of course, that's silver. Uh, you got the 1884 Indian head cent, 1915 barber quarter. And then we got another three cent piece here from 1853. Some of these I might add to my collection since I don't have some of them. 1868 two cent piece. All depends on condition, of course. Uh, this one wasn't even in a holder so this is 1881 uh, three cent uh, piece there uh, this is all Canadian and uh, you know foreign coins and some uh, US coins we got old Canadian nickels from the 40s on up you got wheat pennies uh, you got uh, Eisenhower dollars all clad, so these are pretty much face value, but if I need to add any to my book uh, for the dates, I'll do that. These are just random uh, coins and tokens that were included. Uh, we got silver Canadian dimes. I haven't even looked at the dates, but we do have a book for those, so uh, whatever I need, I'll put in my books, sell the rest. And uh, Indian head cents, we'll do the same with those. We'll figure out which dates we need. And then uh, we also have a couple large cents. Now I can't really see the dates on these. I'll have to probably get back to you in another video on that to figure out the dates where we can look at uh, this underneath the microscope. So what we're going to do is like say, sorry, it keeps going out of focus. What we're gonna do is like these wheat pennies, I'm gonna separate them all by decades and by date. We're gonna literally go underneath uh, the microscope and look for mint errors on these coins. We're gonna do the same thing here with the nickels. Uh, Buffalo nickels, Jefferson nickels, the silver Jefferson nickels, uh, whatever is in here. I haven't even opened up any of these. I'm guessing they're all wheat pennies. Let's see. Yep, a wheat penny ender there. So a wheat penny ender there. And uh, we got these books, you know, some of these books not valuable, you know, really just face value for stuff like that. Uh, you know, 19, let's see, cent. So we got old pennies in here as well. We'll go through and just, you know, separate by date to see what we have. Susan B. Anthony proof coin. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else do we got here? The paper money. All right, so uh, this is an 1896 silver certificate. Uh, silver, two silver dollars. 1896 science note. I wish the tape wasn't on there. Uh, these in very good condition go for a lot of money. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think this one's going to go for too much in this condition. But I might keep it, might sell it, don't really know yet on that. Uh, we do have some really nice bills in here though. Um, not sure why that one's in a sleeve, but we'll put whatever we want in sleeves. And uh, like this one here, this is nice, 1928 $2 bill. Uh, we also got a 1928 $5 bill in here somewhere. Uh, I'll have to find it, but uh, yeah, there's tons in here. Blue seals, uh, red seals. There we go. There it is, 1928 $5 bill. Uh, so we might make a whole video about the currency here, and then we'll make a whole video about going under certain dated pennies, certain nickels. Those are separate videos. And then, uh, oh yeah, so I paid $1,700 for all of this. 
1700 I usually like to give people around 50 to 60 percent of the value of the collection uh, that way you know they get a deal I get a deal uh, you know I buy it a lot cheaper than I could buy it online for so it's worth it for me I can resell it make a little bit of profit they get a deal they need to sell it get rid of it they don't have the time or uh, maybe they don't know how to sell on eBay they don't want to deal with the fees paying taxes on the profit and things like that um, so it's easier just to sell it for you know 17 and get it out of the way and not have to deal with all that uh, so it's good for both people you know uh, some places probably won't even get, give you that much for a collection like this uh, but this is easily three thousand dollars worth of stuff after I added up everything, it's definitely over 3,000. So I added up uh, a lot of the stuff and it came to over 2,700, but I just counted the bills as face value. I counted all the silver coins in here, circulated silver as just silver value, not numismatic value. And then I just did uh, eBay sold listings on all the proof of mint sets and all these coins here and uh, just added that in. Uh, so this is probably gonna be closer to uh, 35, maybe even uh, higher up into the 4,000s. Uh, I just didn't really know how much was here. I had a good idea, like, because he sent pictures to me. Thanks, Kevin, by the way, uh, for selling me the collection. Uh, shout out to him. I went to school with him. But I didn't really know, you know, how much extra stuff was in here. So once I got to start looking and separating stuff, then I had a better idea. I knew I at least had, you know, close to 3,000 by looking at it. Uh, what I looked at before I bought it. So I was like, you know what? It's probably, you know, 1500 is 50% of its value. Give him 1700. That way he's getting a deal. He's getting a lot more than probably he would at another, you know, if he sold it to someone else. Uh, so I'm happy. I'm sure he's happy. I get to add to my collection, which is the fun part about it, and then sell whatever I don't need because, you know, I don't need a hundred pennies from 1956 or 1920 or uh, I don't need a hundred uh, silver nickels you know I only need so many in my collection and then sell the rest let other people add it to their collection and enjoy it but uh, this would be interesting to go through all these pennies it's just really really awesome to uh, you know be able to separate those and look for mint errors and stuff oh gosh I got a lot of work to do guys this is gonna be a fun one so Look out for these coins on the store and look out for the videos about the currency and other coins. Right now, I'm going to get to filling up my other coin books uh, for my collection, see what I need, and then the rest of it I'll uh, figure out and we'll do videos. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.